Hi, this is Dr. Jason Tripp. I'm right here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, and today we're talking about knee pain. If you've been suffering with knee pain, it can be pretty horrible. Even just trying to walk or get out of bed can be terrible. Um, if that's you, I want you to put a comment in the section below and just say yes, or I'm suffering with knee pain, or uh, that's me, or something. Uh, I want to have a dialogue about this. If there's something that I don't answer that you had a question about on um, knee pain, because there's so much to learn about it, put that question in below and I'll see if I can help you with the question. Um, but when we're talking about knee pain, obviously the first thing you want to look at is depending on how long it's been there. Is this just a muscle issue? Did you twist or turn wrong? And it's just a tight muscle. If it's been there one, two or three days, it could be a tight muscle. Massage it, work it, ice it. Everybody ice, ice, ice. That's the best to start with. And if it's just a muscle thing, it'll go in a couple days. Now, obviously, most people, by the time they get to this video, they've had it longer than a couple days. If you've had this longer than a week, now it's turned into something different. It could be a nerve problem. It could be a joint problem where it's just misaligned. Um, if you misalign long enough and then you're athletic and you're running and you're doing things, you could actually tear a piece of that cartilage off in there, that meniscus. And sometimes people have those tears. Now, in some cases, they can heal naturally. In others, you have to have that surgery to clip that little piece off. So I'm hoping that you're not to that point. That's what the knee pain severity exam is for, is to find out how bad is that knee pain. We do that knee pain severity exam right here in the office to find out how bad the knee pain is. If the knee pain is beyond 85, or not pain rather, but the knee exam shows beyond 85% damage, then we know that that's already to a permanent problem. I had a, a young lady come in the other day. She, now she's in her 80s and she's been told for years that she had bone on bone in her knees. We took the x-ray and it wasn't bone on bone. She had plenty of space in the knees. And so even if you've been told, oh, mine's bone on bone, let me take the x-ray and see how much space you actually have. Some people have this much space and they've been told bone on bone. Some people this much, some people this much and I can still help this much. I'm not helping. And so that's where we look at the exam and we figure out, okay, how close are you? Is it full bone on bone or do you have a little bit of space in there, which means we can help? We use something called knee decompression to open the knee joint up. It stretches the knee while we're lasering. Laser has been proven to decrease inflammation and decrease knee pain. So it decreases pain, decreases the inflammation, which causes more pain. So when you decrease the pain or inflammation, you get out of pain faster. So laser helps to speed up your healing. And then decompression helps by rehydrating the meniscus in there through this repetitive stretch that it does. Now, most cases of knee pain, if you catch them in time, you don't need a knee surgery. If you wait and you wait and you wait, you're going to wait till it's long enough until you already have a permanent issue. And so if you've waited some time, then get in and I'll do an exam. I'll find out the knee pain severity how bad is it? If it's over 85%, it's already too late. If it's less than 85%, then it's not too late. You can still get better from your knee pain. Now, it's really a um, thing that once you figure out what it is, is, let's say it's biomechanical and it needs realigned, or you just need to get the inflammation out or what have you, everybody with knee pain needs to strengthen their knees. And so we have a very specific exercise that strengthens it. So we start out with making sure it's lined up. And we can adjust the knee just gently like this to make sure it's lined up. Secondly, we're going to open the space and hydrate that disc, the meniscus in the middle. Third, we're going to laser to get the pain down. If we need it, we can do some other therapies to decrease pain as well. And then after that, we're going to rehab to make the knee strong again so that you can walk and move and do things without pain. And that's really the goal is to get back to being able to walk and hang out, you know, play with the kids or um, you know, walk down the street or even just go shopping. A lot of people are stuck and they can't do it. So if you've been struggling with knee pain, I'm definitely going to say, give the office a call. Let's do a knee pain severity exam. Find out how bad that is. And can you still be helped? And if you can, I'm going to tell you to do whatever it takes to get your body better. So give the office a call 724-342-2225. If you have a question or comment, um, about anything, put it in the uh, comment section below. Just say, yes, I have knee pain. Or uh, here's my question about knee pain. And if there's anything I didn't answer, and do that. If not, call the office, 724-342-2225. I'd be glad to help you, and I'll talk to you soon.